Welcome everyone to Miss Amrine's fourth grade math class. Just a quick overview. As you can see by looking ahead, we have a lot to learn. Starting with day one, we will be learning the triangle problem. Day two, we will be figuring out how to find the value of unknown. Finally, day three, we will be learning the commutative property and what that property looks like. Starting with the triangle problem, our goal here is to break down the number until we can no longer. First, we will begin with the whole number, which in our case is 20. Second, we will want to break down the number with its multiplications. With 20, I am using the numbers 2 and 10. However, Keep in mind that whole numbers can be broken down in more than one way. For instance, I am using the numbers 10 and 2 to break down 20. However, there are also more numbers and multiplications that make up 20. Therefore, there may be more correct answers for one problem. Now, back to the equation. Now that we have found the multiplication with the sum of 20, we have to continue breaking 10 down till no more numbers can be broken down. Finally, after breaking 10 down into 2 and 5, our answer is 5, 2, and 2. However, in order to make sure that we are right, we need to use the guess and check method. This method will help reassure that you were able to find the correct answer by multiplying 5 times 2 times 2 equals 20. And you have found the correct answer. Continuing on with the triangle problems, you will notice the two numbers, 16 and 24, along with their breakdown of multiplications. Keep in mind, this is not the only way to break down these numbers. Since all of you are aware that 16 and 24 have more multiplications that create both 16 and 24. Looking at 16, you can see that 8 and 2 make the sum of 16. Since 2 can no longer be broken down, you just drag the 2 down until you have found all the prime numbers. Looking at 8, you have to break it down to 4 and 2. Again, you just, break, you just drag the 2 down and break down 4 by multiplying it 2 by 2. Therefore, the answer for 16 is 2, 2, 2, and 2. Now looking at 24, you can see that 4 and 6 make up the number 24. Now we break 4 down into 2 and 2, and 6 down into 3 and 2. Therefore, the breakdown for 24 is 2, 2, 3, and 2. Now, by yourself, you have the problems 15, 32, and 20. I'll give you some time and I will assist you with help when necessary. I walked around and most of you guys had the correct answer to all three. Good job! To 15, the answer is 5 and 3. Breaking 32 down, it is 8 and 4, but there are also more numbers, and, mo and all of you guys had the correct answer. Continue on breaking it down, 4 and 2, and 2 and 2. Finally, the numbers that break down 32 are 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2. Last problem for 20. 2 and 10, 
2, 2, and 5 is the correct answer for 20. Good job, everyone. Day 2. Now we're moving on to finding the value. In this picture, you can see that there are 5 M&Ms. How many more M&Ms do you need to have 11 M&Ms? Billy answered the question with 6. Good job, Billy! In terms of an equation, you put 5 M&Ms, that's what you know, and you're trying to create 11 M&Ms. Therefore, the equation looks like 5 plus B equals 11. Next, what you want to do is my, subtract 5 from both sides, canceling the 5 out on the left side, and subtracting 5 from 11. Therefore, B equals 6, and we needed 6 more M&Ms to create 11. Continuing on with finding the value through addition, we start with the equation, which is 7 plus A equals 9. Second, we want to subtract the number from both sides. So we subtract 7 from 7 and subtract 7 from 9. Therefore, we are left with A equals 2. After you found the value, you would want to put the 2 back into the equation, which looks like this, 7 plus 2 equals 9. Lastly, you want to ask yourself if that is a true statement. If it is, you found the correct answer. Now, we are finding the value through subtraction. First, we want to start with the equation, which is b minus 3 equals 10. Next, we want to add 3 to both sides. Therefore, it is canceling out the 3 in the equation. So we want to add the 3 to both sides. Next, you found that b equals 13. Now by yourself, first problem, m minus 6 equals 0, 2, 10 plus f equals 30, and 3, z minus 4 equals 7. I'll give you some time to figure them out. Good job, everyone! You did it correctly. The first problem, m minus 6 equals 0, you add the 6 to both sides, finding m equals 6. Second problem, you subtract 10 from both sides and found that f equals 20. Last, you added 4 to both sides and found that z equals 11. Very good! Checkpoint! This will assure that all of you know what to do. First, the problem is 12, and you want to find the breakdown of the numbers that equal 12. Second, 7 plus b equals 10. And three, w minus 6 equals 13. I'll give you some time to figure that out, and I will help you when needed. Good job, everyone! There is a little mistake, but you all managed to figure that out. Very good. The breakdown of 12, 3 and 4. And then lastly, 3, 2 and 2 are the answers. Second, you subtracted the 7 from both sides and found that B equals 3. 
lastly, you added the 6 to both sides and found that W equals 19. Day 3, the commutative problem. The commutative problem shows that T plus S equals S plus T. Notice the same unit. This equation shows the commutative property.